Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men, and the topic for this video is understand her shadow cocktails. I talked about mastering her shadows in another video, right? Mastering your energetic response to her shadows. Um, by mastering her shadows, I don't mean going and trying to control her. What I mean is you master the energetic space in which you are when you are exposed to shadows coming from her. So again, shadows can be anything like lying, being nasty, spreading rumors about you, being really toxic, attacking you, blaming you. You know, sometimes it's uh, sabotaging your chance of seeing your children, for instance. You know, it's like lots of things that can happen in that field, especially if you are in the divorce zone. You know, she might be playing games with you. And so the idea of one shadow being projected, for instance, you go like, okay, she lied to me. There is something there that was really not true that she's telling me, you know, she didn't tell me about her seeing this other man right now. She didn't tell me about her wanting to travel and leave or, you know, things like that. So she might be lying to you, but, or she might be aggressive. But what you have to understand is that sometimes you are dealing with a shadow cocktail. It means that it's a multiple set of attacks that is going to come from different directions and hit you really hard because sometimes it's going to be something like that. Um, she's going to be lying or not being honest or transparent to you, right? And then she might be, for instance, you have a business together and she might be making plans to, God knows, you know, steal, steal the business from you. And then she might be, be really aggressive towards you or she might be passive aggressive or she might be, um, you know, educating the children that you have together to hate you or to not like you, spreading lies about you. And so when you are dealing with her, you have to realize that sometimes you are exposed to a whole range of, of shadow emotions and situations that might, might be projected to you. And um, I would say that probably in, uh, in the breakup zone, when you're in the breakup zone, very often 50% of the challenge is just dealing with that woman that used to be in your life and that you used to love and that you maybe you still love, but who is, you know, basically being really uh, toxic for you, for your field. And so the question is, what can you do about it? How are you going to respond? And in the context of identifying, you know, once you can identify and write down on a piece of paper, what are those shadows that are being projected on you? You will realize that it's not just one attack. It's not just one nasty email or something that she sends you that, that pisses you off and makes you really angry. It's like it's a combination of things that create an energy reality that is basically hostile to you. And again, this doesn't have to be the case. Many breakups are going to be really harmonious. You might be through a divorce situation where there is a conscious uncoupling experience going on and um, everything is really smooth, everything is really harmonious, no problem, a little bit of emotional challenges inside of you. Your ex is not attacking you, she's not lying to you, she's just still being really honest with you. So all that can be really smooth. And there can be other situations that are really, really, really toxic where that woman that you used to love is really hostile towards you. And so when this starts happening, what do you do with that? You know, it can be really challenging. You are there trying to rebuild your life and then you are under constant attack, under constant blame, you know, spreading rumors on the internet. You might be, you know, under attack on your Facebook. She might be commenting on your post and being systematically nasty. Or she might be calling the new women that you are seeing and spreading lies about you. You know, there is a whole lot of, of possible cocktails that can happen there. And uh, if you are exposed to all that, what you have to do is write on a piece of paper the list of the shadow attacks that you are being exposed to. And then you will realize that, wow, it's a whole cocktail of energies. It's a whole cocktail of toxicity that is coming to my field. And basically that woman is being really hostile towards me. And so what am I gonna do about it? You know, you can build up resistance. As I said earlier, the idea of retaliation very often is not one that I encourage because it just leads to build up of energy towards each other. So it's an escalation of the fights, an escalation of the conflicts that most of the times you don't want to engage into. It's going to be, it can get really nasty, you know, you can engage into a divorce process that might take you years and years and thousands of dollars to, to solve and at the end nobody will win. 
And so what I encourage you to do right now is just design your battle plan really carefully. And the core, you know, the core idea is to protect yourself. For instance, if she's invading your space, just protect yourself. So, you know, uh, stop engaging into conversations online, stop engaging when she's inviting you into a fight. For instance, if she goes like, you know, right now I feel really angry with you and you did this, you did that, you, you attacked me, you, you didn't tell me the truth about your plans. You know, she's blaming you over and over again. So what to do with that when she starts blaming you, for instance, is to retire. You go like, you know what, this conversation is not serving me. I already heard that many, many times. I don't want to hear it again. So I'll see you later. Bye. And you can do that. You can disconnect while online, while you are texting, messaging. You can do that live as well. You know, just be kind. You just be nice. You don't have to be nasty. But like, you know what, I love you. You are... We've been married for like 20 years. I don't want to do this with you. I don't want to argue with you. I'm not interested in fighting with you. Um, I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Let's try to reconnect from a place of honoring each other, harmony, bliss, and beauty. Okay? So this is one of the core tactics. I will tell you more about more specific tactics in other videos. But for now, remember, when you're exposed to something, it's sometimes it's not just one attack. It's not just one specific attack on your system. It's a shadow cocktail. Remember that. I'll see you soon for another video.